should be live in just a moment then. Okay. Light up a cigarette. You know, it's the usual morning routine. You know, if you don't light up a cigarette, well, you ain't gonna get no blessing in life. <laughs> I'm messing, I'm messing. getting these ads for these bumble websites and shit like that and freaking i don't know kind of crap man i don't know what the fuck's going on but what's going on champs hope you guys are doing well so welcome to another episode thanks daily trade um you know big love to all of you guys it's been a fucking ride and a half actually with crypto and you know even with this whole youtube the whole stream and whatnot just want to say thank you to every one of you guys you know you guys are supporting me for everything um generally actually mean it from the bottom of my heart it's really really sweet how you guys are actually always here every single day and if it wasn't for you guys i wouldn't be here that's the honest truth so big love to all of you guys one to each and every one of you so i mean like look we got look at the regulars crypto cruise who's watching uh, i think you're watching naruto we got uh zen Ney. we got vegeta how you doing man uh bless you i was actually on, on uh, vegeta stream by the way follow my boy vegeta crypto one um you can click on his on the live chat you can click on his name and just subscribe to his channel where you can literally go on Google and, and not Google, YouTube and type his name, Vegeta Crypto One. You know, solid guy, really lovely guy as well. He's, he's, he was, looking, he was looking for shorts on, on, uh, on Ethereum, oh, on, on, on Bitcoin. I was watching you, bro. I'm watching you, you know. Mm. So, shout out to him as well. Um, Zen next thing, SD is bullish on BTC short term. Yes, I am looking at the same thing. So, we are going to start talking about this. So, shout out to SZ actually. SZ was looking at longs on Ethereum for about a couple of days. I'd say I'd say about well definitely last week I definitely like people was noticing that because I was shorting Ethereum I got stopped out I cut a trade early on Ethereum and then I got stopped down in Ethereum trade and I was like fuck Ethereum <laughs> let's go to Bitcoin instead Bitcoin was the easier play um and you know we played it and I played it and whatnot I played it yesterday made a, a little gain as well Ethereum broke out yesterday we'll talk about the Ethereum trade it was as per plan as well so I was talking about in terms of Ethereum, would I short and long? I where we were looking at, we were above the Monday's high, we were above the monthly's open. I wasn't looking for a short or a long. There was a certain a certain um, PA that had to be it had to be done, and I'll talk about that in a moment. So did that last night. Jumped on this. I jumped on the trade uh, based on invalidation. Right. Remember, I said to you, there's two types of trades. You got your uh, a breaking market structure or based on invalidation. I'm gonna explain that to you as well, based on invalidation and why I put my stop loss a little bit wide. Uh, made a 2.2 hour trade to be honest like I, I i saw it could potentially move up a little bit higher i'll explain why but it was so late at night i didn't want to monitor the trade i was like fuck this i'm gonna cut the trade i'm quite happy with the 2.2 is as per plan stick to the plan and let's go to bed so today's a new day we'll start making a new plan uh, who else we got? We got art art gemini morning brother morning justin we've got uh, final country club that guy is a joker and a half shout out to final country club as well uh, he was on. Uh, we did a show yesterday with um, for those actually watched it yesterday, uh, with Mindjacked. Uh, so we got Mindo and we got um, Johnny. And uh, he just busting jokes. He was just busting jokes. Uh, bless him as well. You know, David was on the show. On the show, Cryptique was on the show as well. There's a bunch of others as well. So shout out to you guys. We got Dubsdorf. We got fan of uh, 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 Gandalf. What's going on, Gandalf? Piotr, Gold Meta, Guna. We got the crew, man. You know how it is. All right, so. It's been quite interesting though with uh, with crypto, hasn't it? Because although we are uh, like although the um, dollar is bearish, I mean we'll talk about the whole thing. Let's just fucking bring this up actually now. <coughs> uh, what pl platform do you uh, do you use to trade currency stocks? I haven't traded forex for a while, you know. I'll be honest with you, I haven't traded any forex in a while. Uh, I used to use something called. Um, do I have the app on my phone? I can find out for you, Gold Meta. One second. Um, no, I don't. Jeez, I forgot what it was because I there was a there was a there was a, a basically there was a particular exchange where you can actually use Bitcoin back in the days. I'm talking about from 2018, 2019. This is a long time ago. You can actually deposit your Bitcoin and use your Bitcoin to actually trade the forex market, the bond market, the you know the, the lot. It was actually a good. It was a, it was a really good exchange. I forgot what it was. It's been years since I last used it. Mm. I know FTX use you can uh, you can use um um st uh, stocks and currencies and stuff like that. But I haven't checked. I haven't done any one in a while. Primex BT. I don't use Primex BT to be honest. Um, I'm currently building a a partnership with Bybit, so Delta Exchange will be finished. 
um and yeah and i'll be going with bybit so bybit is going to be i'm looking to make them as the, like the official sponsor of, of the country club and whatnot but we'll, we'll talk about that afterwards anyway that's a that's more work in, in in the in the background there um we've got who else we got we've got freaking kep what's going on kep Apollo, what are you doing man what are you, what are you doing what are you saying bro <laughs> what are you doing man <laughs> well obviously watching me in here <laughs> we got jordan we got ed walaikum salam brother valent we got freaking crypto dad we got ning how you doing ning you well and we've got freaking the guna man mm. five bit is good it was vegeta actually actually um told me about by bit the the, the um, volume was a lot a lot better Are you aware of Sasuke when Sasuke left the village? Well, that's it, you know, that it gets deep in it. It's really depressing, really deep there. Uh, freaking Naruto, man. I want to start watching it again, you know. It's just the time. I just don't have the time now. That's the thing is, is it's time for me. It's, I don't know what the fuck happens with my time. <laughs> to be honest with you, who fucking knows, but. Looking at, let's look at the trade. Let's go, let's get, cra uh, let's get cracking. <clears throat> so Ethereum, I'm um, looking at yesterday. So actually, one second, one second there. I showed it to you yesterday as as per plan and what happened, and we can talk about that. You want to see some monkeys? Um, let's see. All right, so this is uh, the the plan on the stream itself, right? So I literally had a range band environment there. One second. Some eyes up between shit. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, yeah. So. What happened was I draw a range band environment. <clears throat> price was stuck in a range from this high to this low. It was capping the market on both sides, and I always say price was in a range. We were at, uh, we were above the well below the mid range at the time, and I did say retest breakdown. This is your confirmation, and we play it back down here, picking on these stops over here, picking these double, uh, double bottom, playing back to range. Okay, that was the that was the shorting scenario, and the the, the bullish scenario is we reclaim this uh, the mid range. Once we reclaim the mid range, all this uh, then breaking market structure and then that'll be my trigger for my longs and then off we go right target 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 okay uh, so things were a little bit different for me although I said my target was from this height south across so about just below 1620 I feel up I went to the target up to here right I was potentially looking to these highs over there then once it got up here I'm like do you know what fuck it cut the trade it's all done I I'm quite happy with it so what happened was if you look at the next slide the next slide no the next slide there we go <laughs> the next one uh so here we go we'll talk about this so obviously pro the mid-range was here right let me just approximately draw it out for you guys the mid-range was just there that's the mid-range and what happened was did exactly what i was saying got up right so you got up held above it broke out held above it and go up there right slightly different pa really what it was right so i saw well, let me draw this out and delete that so what it was, I saw this, right? This was the high that was capping the market, right? And we got back up. Once we did this move over here, I'm like, that's fucking bullish then. Because what's going to happen? It's going to fill out all this inefficiency right here. It's going to fill it out. And I was like, well, that's a trade and a half right there. A very easy trade. Well, I'm looking for a pullback. Would I enter? Because when I saw it, it was about here. right? Just uh, It's just above the 1600 marker. I'm like, fuck that. I'm not catching that. I'm not actually entering the trade. I'm like, because based on the validation, I'm wrong over here, right? Because you got this coming up so let me just highlight this box over here for you so you see this high there right and this low there that's where the that's where the um the, the range was this is the low and that was the high and all this was a deviation below it we got back above it kind of did another deviation and then once we stepped into the range it was a range band environment within these two highs and lows right on a smaller time frame then obviously we break up come back up and i said a retest of this high fucking uh, well actually yeah, to be honest i, I put uh um, I saw, I saw, as soon as, sorry, as soon as I saw it, right, I entered here. I'm like, well, the way that the shift of displacement, it's all a displacement, price displaced from this area here. That was such a strong movement there. And it wasn't, a, you know, this fast wick up like that, that's a fast ass wick, right? And like two, three candles has already gone up, right? And that's half an hour. It's moved up like a good $50 there. But this one wasn't a, a two, three candle. There was a grind up. And then we have one thin candle. It was a grind up and then it holds above it. Then comes for a retest. I'm like, well, based on the validation, I'm going to put buy over here and my stop loss is based on this, right? Because I can see is that potential, right? Price can easily come back into this area here, right? Come back into here, hold above it, right? And then reclaim this and then do this. 
that's what it could happen. That was, that was a pullback scenario there. I was like, fuck it. I'm going to enter in based on invalidation. I'm quite happy with it as well. And when I, when I was actually you know, planning it all out itself, I so thought that's a 2.2 R trade from there. I'm like, well, I'm quite happy with 2.2. So fuck it. Let's enter in. Enter in and that's it. Very minimal drawback and off we go. And obviously, as we know, price got, did get above it, but I wasn't going to watch that. You know, that's the thing is, when you got a plan with uh, with um, Ethereum, not Ethereum, with, with anything, when you got a plan, stick to the plan. Don't don't divert from the plan. If you divert from the plan, you're just going to get fucked because what could have happened yesterday was this, right? It was literally comes back into here, right? Find some resistance, breaks down, and starts selling back down. Then what? Cut the trade up, break even. Fuck that. I'll bag the 2.2R and then live another day. <laughs> that's what it should be. That's what that's the mentality that we should all have. Bag, bag what you can, bag your profits, and live another day. I know Crypto Cruise was on along as well. Um, I don't know if you actually entered in and whatnot, but I did say that I was looking, I was looking for bearishness as well because of Bitcoin, right? But uh, was it Bitcoin that you was on long? I don't know. What, what was you on long on? I know you were on long on something. Was it crypto? Was it Ethereum or Bitcoin? I don't know what it was, but there was someone who was saying to me like they were long, and I, and I was playing the shorts at the time. And obviously we had a pullback scenario uh, with, uh, with Bitcoin, and that was like a... I think I finished on that like a good two point something R two point eight R in total when I put you on both was it? Uh, yeah, so like uh, with with Bitcoin at the time, it was coming yesterday. Looking at the at the play, and I was like, you know what, that's a short right there. Uh, it was a clear a short. But then I, the moment we, I'll show you the show, I'll show you the chart actually. Fuck it, instead of actually talking over it without any visual effects, it makes no fucking sense, doesn't it? You're like, what the fuck are you talking about? So this is what it was, right? <clears throat> so I ended a short there, right? Discussed it yesterday. I had my invalidation based off this this high there. That's where it was, right? And I played. And my target was to clean out all this liquidity. Uh, you wouldn't see my heads in the way, but there was liquidity resting there, like triple bottom, right? And I was like, all right, cool. We're gonna have to wipe this out. I don't give a shit, right? If we come down lower down here, whatever it does, right? If it reclaims and holds above it, this, right, is my confirmation. This could be like a, a really tight, aggressive play right here, right? And I was like, I'm quite happy to enter along then. Right, let it do its thing and do its deviation and whatever. Uh, but it just so happened that uh, this this candle here, right? Sorry, uh, this um, weekly low is holding at support and is doing a very very fantastic job, if you ask me. So I saw that the price start like it was there's a range band environment right here, right? And so price start to come back up, and I was like, all right, then I'm gonna watch this, and it needs to reject off here, right, and break down. The moment it got back up and it was start to hold there, I'm like, yeah, was it? And then it comes back down. And was holding around this area. I cut the whole trade. I'm like, fuck it. This is this is now bullishness as well. Why? Well, if you look at it this way, the whole the whole scenario on Ethereum. I'm gonna move my head for a moment, okay? Just put it right over here where no one gives a shit. Right. The whole base on Ethereum, right? This whole movement there, right? These these triple bottoms right there is what I'm looking for liquidity to be thingy to be taken out. And I'm so focused on liquidity taking out liquidity right there, but we've not fucking done it. Instead, we're making like higher highs, yeah, higher lows. We're making higher lows, and then if you look at these price action right over here, this is kind of pissing me off a little bit. So you got this low here, and that's what's holding the market right there. That very freaking low. Let me do that properly. Sorry about that. That low is holding the market very, very well, and the fact that that's doing it is showing me more bullishness. And this PA, I've seen this before. Where have you guys seen this PA before? If you guys can remember, it's a bit. It was a, it's a year ago. I know it might be a bit old. We've seen the PA before, and I'll explain to you in just a moment. What's going on, Asgard? How you doing, brother? Chart Championship did an analysis uh, by a bit volume profile, and all of those apparently the most reliable one. Oh, shit. Chart Champions, I've heard his name quite a few times, you know. I need to check out these geez uh, this geezer. Um, sorry, last time. Okay, that's all right. I'll explain to you in just a moment there, Cru uh, Cruz. So, yeah, so... This low here is holding the market. We had a deviation, right? It's a swing failure, right? Come back up, retest, holds. Come back up, retest, holds. But it's fucking holding. And this is such a strong freaking buy, the, the weekly range low. And 19,640 is what's defending the whole market. I could focus on this 19.8K, 19, uh, which is previous all time high. But obviously, in, on lower time frame, you're going to have some sort of deviation that's wicking like this. You're going to have that, right? So if you were to zoom out on a four hour chart, then you be it looks a little more cleaner and we're starting to look like we're actually regaining some support right like strong 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 support so someone said sc is short-term bullish right i can see the same thing now now it's making a lot, a lot more clear you know what shout out to sc for actually picking that up really really early i don't know how the fuck he does it but fair play to him as well but 
to be honest, we played the shorts. Uh, I played the shorts as well. So I made, I made, uh, I made some decent money on there, um, on it on Bitcoin. Ethereum fucked me over last week. Fuck that, motherfucking Ethereum. But we have this whole merge thing going up and whatnot. Dollar is still looking bullish to me. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not gonna start saying yeah, it's a breakdown and whatever. That's that's absolutely bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, thank you, bro. Uh, thank you, Stecky. Is it? How, am I saying it right, Stecky, or am I? Because the S has got the um that character on top as well. So unless I'm saying it wrong, please correct me as well. I don't want to disrespect anyone's name as well, because you know. But yeah, but uh, I'm gonna call you Stecky. If it's if it's incorrect, please correct me there. But yeah, so. That's the thing is, I was talking about to, to Mindset yesterday, uh, not to Mindset, to Johnny yesterday. And Johnny was talking about like, he's held a, a long for eight weeks. And I don't know how he does it, man. Shout out to Johnny for that, man. But fucking hell, eight weeks will kill me. It'll really, really kill me. I can't do eight weeks, right? I like playing the smaller the smaller burst plays as well because I can make my, I can make peas on the way here. I can make peas up here. I can make peas all the way there. I can make peas from this here to there break down all the way down here it doesn't matter I'm, i'll be making peace all the way through but the swing plays right, are great for people who with huge capital that's the honest truth you've got massive massive capital it's perfectly fine because if you risk like five percent of your capital on like i don't know 100k account right or even like a 200k account right let's say let's say 200k 200k account you're risking five percent that's what 10 grand and if your trade is like a free r trade on a swing trade you're looking at about 30 grand there and if you if you don't mind holding it for a month or two months, <coughs> fuck yeah, do it, isn't it? <coughs> but that's one of my weakness. Is being patient for a swing a swing play, and I can't do it. It's a very difficult thing for me personally. That's one of my weakness. I'm very open about it. I'll be honest about it as well. Uh, swing play is not, is not never been my type of game, only because I'm so focused on smaller time frame, fifteen minutes, fifteen seconds. You know how I do it. So. But yeah, now we're looking at bullishness, right? Now the question comes down to this, right? Ethereum is looking freaking beautifully bullish in it. How bullish can it be, right? That's the big question everyone can be, uh, everyone's asking, right? So I'm just gonna go back onto the charts. Where the fuck is this? Where the fuck am I showing my Facebook? Fuck that. There we go. Um, what's going on? Yeah, oh, dang, what's going on, brother? <laughs> uh, you feel the same, brother? Bless you, man. Uh, but yeah, it's oh, fucking hell. But yeah, there we go. I mean, I was looking for potentially, right? Like, as an extended target, I was saying, I, I believe I said it yesterday on the stream, right? Oh, what am I doing? Right? I believe I said it yesterday on the stream. I don't think I, would, I hit it from anyone there. I think as extended targets, this is where I'm looking for, right? As a target right there, will be very, very, you know, uh, obviously you can see, we hit it, we hit it twice, right? And find res resistance. So we're breaking down from here. I don't really care what happens next, right? I'm just going to wait for the next plan and we'll work it out from there in a moment. But even if you held it, that would have been a freaking good, good trade, actually. Damn. Let me delete that. I don't need that. Um, let's see. God damn, four hour trade. Anyway, anyway, that's the thing is, like, sometimes you see that. Sometimes, I, you know, like, here was a 2.1. Well, I say it's 2.1. I, I, I know I ended up with 2.2. Um, but sometimes you have a plan and you're like, oh, extending targets over here and, you, and it goes there. It's great. Sometimes it doesn't go there, and it's not great. But the the thing, the key point I want you guys to take away from here, from what I'm telling you, is that when you have a freaking plan, stick to the goddamn motherfucking plan. Don't deviate from the plan. If you deviate from the plan, that's where it gets ugly. That's when you start thinking how I'm going to manage this, what I'm going to do, blah, blah, you know, X, Y, and Z, and it becomes really difficult to play with. Trust me, it really, it is it, a stressful moment. I went to bed quite easily, quite happily. I really went to bed really, really peacefully. I mean, look. I mean, the, I entered the trade approximately about 7.15, 7.30 around that time. And I went, cut the trade, well, the, the trade cut about midnight, just around midnight, just after midnight. I think about half past 12, 1 o'clock, I saw the notification on my phone. I'm like, oh shit, target hit. <laughs> I was like, yo, the reason why I didn't look at it, it was a clear breakout. And I was very, very confident based on the validation. And, um, but yeah, so that's the trade done. Now we need to make a new plan now, okay? So it's a new day. Let's see what the fuck's going on, all right? Yo, Joel, what's going on, brother? Got addicted to your style. Thank you so much for that. Eight weeks swing trade. Yeah, dude, it's fucking crazy. He was telling me this shit. I kept, like, basically, the stream finished between, uh, you know, for, like, publicly. And we were just chatting between me, Mindo, and, and, and Johnny. And we're just chatting. I'm like, yo, Johnny, how the fuck are you doing eight weeks? And he's just cracking up. He's like, he's like, well, it, it's, it's a different game. Like, it's a different game. People have different styles. And, like, if you learn it from different people and whatever, you see, like, some people have crazy, crazy amount of patience. And you know what? Fair play to them as well. Fair play to them. 
I give give you a sweep at 19.5k. Do you know what? Monthly open. Well, I'm Bitcoin. Hey, look, let's go, let's go into Bitcoin. Let's go straight into, into the whole freaking scenario, the views and whatnot. Nothing's really changed, to be honest, right? If you think about it, Bitcoin has not changed one bit, right? Why? Because we're still capped between this low and this high, and we're still playing within the range of Monday's range last week. So, I mean, what's happened so far? All we've done is low to high, high to low, and we're going back and forth. And literally, is a ping motherfucking pong, right? And we're, what's ha what's capping the market right now is one, mid-range, and two, all importantly, is the monthly open. The monthly open is really the target that you want to keep an eye on, because you see, you see over here, we got resistance. We come up as a deviation, just about as resistance. Feel like this inefficiency over here, uh, but the mid the mid cap is actually mar marking as resistance. Now, if you want like absolute confirmation of bullishness, right? It's reclaim of the monthly open, and off you go, right? Something like this will be your trigger to go up high, twenty five percent of the range, set, sorry, seventy five percent of the range, and then squeeze into this area here. Be next set of targets, target two, and then target three, taking out this high over here, right? Well, Monday's high, I'll focus on, right? And that's it. That's the first play of Bitcoin. Now, providing Bitcoin is to re reclaim monthly open, and I do feel the way this PA is happening, the way Ethereum is actually above the monthly open, and Bitcoin's below the monthly open, the Ethereum merge is coming around, we've got the FOMC coming around, we've got the, there's so much shit going on. There's so much nasty ass motherfucking shit going on. That is just so confusing. I get that. It's it's a really difficult play, a difficult thing to play, which is why I'm focused on the smaller time frame. Right? Smaller time frame is so much easier to play, you just focus on that. I don't really give a damn what's going on. I don't give a shit. Whatever happens, happens. So I do want to touch base on EPTC in a bit and Bitcoin dominance in a bit because there's important things that we want to talk about, but we'll get to that in just a moment. So what's going on? Um, so true, have to follow your plans, 100%. Uh, let's see. Curtis is saying, yo, man, been watching your, your channel lately since you popped up on YouTube. Thought I'd say, yo, arc up, arc up a, uh, a Siggy. Yeah, let's fuck up a Siggy. Let's do it. Okay, for Curtis, love the good yarns. Love, brother. Appreciate that, man. Thank you so much for that. That's that's a lot of... Uh, uh, that means a lot to me from you as well. Let's fuck on those series. Dude, I trade to smoke. <laughs> that's what I do. I fucking trade to smoke. I don't fucking trade for, for, for fancy cars or anything like that. I trade for fucking cigarettes. All I need, as long as I've got my cigarettes, I'm happy, man. I don't need women. I don't need, I don't need anything, man. I'm blessed with, with just cigarettes, man. There's something about a cigarette that a woman can't fulfill. It's that pleasure. You know what I'm saying? Because that pleasure, like, you know when you're with a girl, it's only happiness for like 10 seconds and that's it, you're done. This, that five minutes, it's like, oh, peace. You know what I'm saying? Only the smokers understand. Mm. That's a fucking short right there. Uh, no, not a short, a YouTube short I'm talking about. Uh, what gives you an edge in the markets, mate? Is it all the flow, volume, profile, heat maps? Ooh, go meta. What gives me an edge on the market? Range band environment? That's what it really does. I, I'm a very strictly range band environment kind of player. So you know a lot of people, so there's different types of trades. We're gonna go into Bitcoin in just a moment. Let's just let's just discuss this, all right? So let me get a fine, fine ass white space, okay? So what he's saying, right? So for me, as many people have seen it, I'm gonna do it again. I like playing range band environments, okay? A lot of people see the PA come like this, right? And they'll be like, yo, you know what? This is too choppy. To them, this is really, really choppy stuff, right? But to me, this is absolute beauty. You know, I'm not gonna lie to you, this is absolute beauty. I'm just gonna draw this out really, really rough, okay? And the mid range comes about, let's say it's about there, okay? Approximately there, all right? I love trading this whole fucking scenario right here. This whole thing back and forth like a fucking ping pong table. I love doing that. It's the best way for me to play. For me, this is heaven. Heaven on earth with some freaking white covers and bare bitches, you know what I'm saying? So, really, my, 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 my art is, just, is this. So what a lot of people do, right? There's different types of traders, right? So that's my way of playing it. I'll be looking for support off this, trigger, playing it to mid-range, mid-range, go all the way to range high. Once we break down, this high, break down, trigger down here, back to mid-range, mid-range, lose this level, back to range low. Same thing, back and forward, all to the top, right? And this, to me, there's a lot of money to be played. And I'll be honest with you, right? I've not seen any kind of style that actually makes the most money. You know, because, whoops, mother. Where the hell is going? What? Oh, fuck off. Did I delete everything? Oh, I must have. I'm, I'm, anyway, so again, because to, to most people, all this is a range band. Well, to most people, it's really, really choppy. It's 
very, very choppy, right? And they say, oh, price is choppy. You must have heard that. Price is choppy. Price is choppy. Shut the fuck up. Price ain't fucking choppy. You're being a little bitch, man. No, no, honestly, the truth is, right, people who say price is choppy is because they're scared of playing this. But if you can play this, right, you can play anything. You can really play anything. That's the truth. Because you've got to think of it this way. <clears throat> Someone else's fear is your gain, right? So how many people are scared of actually jumping off a bridge but the adrenaline is like, well, it's not jumping off a bridge, that sounds suicidal, fucking hell. I mean, um, jumping off a bridge, like bungee jumping. How many people are scared of that? Many, many people do that. But if you've done it, the adrenaline is fucking amazing, right? It's a beautiful, uh, beautiful feeling that you get. But when you do it, this is all bungee jumping for me. This is all bungee jumping, right? We did a scalp on 15 seconds. The whole crew did it together on Friday. This was the, like the, the, the crew did it together on 15 seconds. I got stopped out like a motherfucking bitch, right? But I got stopped out. But everyone else was still stayed in. And I managed that trade, and everyone walked away with two R trade. And ask them, you can ask them for yourself, mate. Um, uh, gold meta. They tell them. They will tell you, like how mad it was. Everyone was just gassed. That's all I can say. Under fifteen seconds. But yeah. Uh, so really, that's that's the I love playing this, and I can also play this, right? That's one way I play the range ban environment game. I can also play this. A breakout, come back in as a retest. And then play the expansive move. To me, this is consolidation. Let the breakout happen. Retest. Expansive. Expansion. I'm happy to play that. I can play, uh, for example, price comes over here and finds support. Finds support over here. It doesn't go to range low, right? And then does this. I can play that. Not a problem. All it is, is an order flow, which we were talking about. And then you find out where is the price consolidation on the smaller time frames, holding support. The validation is over here, playing it back up there. There's many, many ways of uh, many, many styles that you can actually play. There's so many fucking styles, right? And through the uh, the country club, we'll go for it. We'll go for all the styles itself because I'm what, what I want to do really is equip you guys with the best. Well, not the best, with as many many different kind of styles that you can play. Because just because something suits me doesn't mean it will suit you. Everyone has their own style, and I need to learn you guys in a way what helps you. But I have my edge, and my edge really is the range man environment. I don't, I don't know many people who actually play range man environment games. There's very few, I believe. Uh, I may be wrong, but that's me. Uh, that's the way I play it. Then. What else is happening? Uh, yeah, patience. Uh, nah, bro. That I've always got patience for you, Gold Meta. Don't worry about it. It's all blessed, man. You take your time and learn it. If it takes you like weeks, months, years, whatever, I don't give a flying fuck. As long as you get it, that's the important thing. Okay. When you have a range, let's say under fifteen minutes. What time frame do you use to find your triggers based on what time frame the invalidation confirmation? Okay, so when I when I have a range on a fifty minutes or an hourly or whatever, I drop down one time frame down. All right, that's an alpha for you guys there to help out. Because let's go to Bitcoin, right? That cigarette was for Curtis. Love to you, my brother. Um, in terms of a range, okay. So if we go to Ethereum, this is more. We've gone back to education content right there. Okay, the range here we can we can. We can agree this range here on the 15 minutes makes sense. Everyone agrees with that? Yep. And all we had, price consolidated, broke out, had a retest, deep retest off, off this level here, whatever the, the level I picked out on. Uh, oh, yeah, it was off this high, approximately this high itself. Um, well, no, this high. Sorry, that's a lie. It was this high. That was a mean there. Retest there. And on the 15 minutes, it looks like fucking, you know, it literally gives you... 150 well nearly two 250 minute candles to pick this entry over here before you start playing over here right so what i do right between me and you keep this as a secret right don't tell anyone on youtube right so we got i drop it down to the five minutes for example and i start looking at what's going on right uh, because i'm a scalper i can drop down to the one minute and two minutes and, and whatnot on the one minute right on the five minutes it gives me a little bit more time to see what's happening so i'm watching this right like, obviously, I, I entered my trade based on invalidation. But if I didn't want to enter my trade on invalidation, how would I enter this with different styles there? This is all education there. So get your pen and papers and whatnot, right? So we said this high over here from this this high itself, we marked on the 15 minutes, go across. You can see deviation, deviation, resistance. It's going to be fucking the key. That's your motherfucking key right there, right? So if it was to be bullish, I expect to hold. I need this to hold. If it holds, happy days, let's go. I could have entered the short, I can enter the trade with a stop loss over here, right here, right? 
But like I said, we had this whole invalidation, like a, a whole range. I just said, you know what, fuck it, place it below the, uh, the range low. If I'm wrong, we're gonna go into a monthly a monthly open and see what happens, X, Y, and Z, okay? So that's one. So I entered based on this, right? Without without even dropping out of time zone. But on the five minutes, as you can see right now, we're gonna just go a little bit more intricate in terms of how, if, how do you enter it if you're scared to enter here? Because most people will be like, ah, we're back underneath here, we're gonna find a resistance and we're gonna go back down. It's very, very possible, which is why I kept the wider stop loss based on invalidation, you get it? Now, if, you, if you're one of those traders who hasn't got the confidence yet, not a problem, not a big deal. Now, this is where SR comes into place. When you start mastering your SR game, right, it becomes a lot of sense, it makes a lot of sense now, okay? So on the five on the five minutes, right, let's just do this, right? So let's just move this around here. Let me pull this out of the back. So you see this. <clears throat> I entered over here, right? Approximately where that line is. I entered over there. Now, if I don't want to enter here and I want to get above and hold above it and show breaking market structure on the upside and whatnot, that's another thing. Already, the market structure has been broken. You can see that's the trend line, but that's the high, lower, low, lower, high, lower, low, lower, high. You know, it was, it was, it was, it was grinding over here, right? It's not the grind there. Uh, this was taken out. Market structure is now bullish. Why? Because we've taken out this high on the lower time frame I'm talking about, which is why I stuck with a plan of where taking, um, um, of just taking the, I lost my train of thought. What the fuck was I talking about? I'm, I'm fucking lost my train of thought. I need another cigarette. Oh yeah, market structure. Sorry, I just something just popped in my head. I'm like, shit, I gotta do this in it. There's um, I got a fine to pay, man. Fucking hell. I drove in the freaking um, um, Birmingham um city centre the other day in a car that's not ULES uh, compliant, and I, got, and I forgot to pay the eight pound fee, and the fine came out like like 120 quid. I just thought about that. I was like, shit, the deadline's today. <laughs> like, before he goes up higher. Um, fuck, man. I hate that shit. Anyway. But, yeah. So, we're talking about market structure. Market structure's broken. So, once the market structure's broken, right? This, right? If you want absolute full confirmation now, if we break above this high, well, that's it. It's going to be bullish. Mega, mega bullish. But we've already broken it once over here. Uh but you want to get a tighter entry. How would you enter in with the maximum benefit itself? So you see now, you see this high over here? Look at that. What happens? We deviate below it, get back up, and hold a support. This is your trigger. And then you, I wouldn't put my stop loss below here. You could put it here, but I, I, for me, to be safe, I kept the wider stop loss. Just in case we come back to fill out this inefficiency. All right? And then what happens is, okay, if you miss this, no problem. How would you get into the next one? That high there, what happens next? Find support. You see that now? You see how all this SR really comes into play now? Find support. And it gives you another set of, in, uh, of trigger before we start breaking this out. Does that make sense, everybody? And then what happened was, once we break out of this high, it was game over. So you had time Right, when you think about it, you had all this time over here, you had all this time over here, and you had all this time over here to get in. There was many, many times that the price, when you drop down on time frame, gives you the opportunity. It's now understanding how you want to play this game. Are you going to play this? Like, I could easily play this as a scalp. I could have played this as a scalp targeting this area here. Well, this block, yeah, that's right. Yeah, the fucking, that's right. As a scalp, it's been perfect. And then as a scalp, this would have been my stop loss right here, right? So when I entered in, I'll tell you, for example, right? If I were to enter into a scalp, right? And that's, that's, you got, and you've got to differentiate the type of play you're playing now, right? So let's go on going for a long. I entered around here. Um, uh, I'll, put, I'll probably put my stop loss just over here. Just give me a bit of breathing space and targeting there. That's a 3.4, that's a 3.4, a 3.4 R trade right there. You know what I'm saying? So. You can play in many, many ways. And if I were to hold it, obviously I wouldn't hold it because of the scalp, I would have to cut the trade over here. But as you can see, right over here, we find resistance. You see, literally there, comes into this area, finds resistance, pulls back, and then shoots back up and that's it. Then gives a fucking time to breathe. And that's what, that's what, that's what like, uh, you got many, many entries there looking for how to enter it in there. Like I said, don't show it to anyone. Uh, just keep it hush hush.
That's ha- that's a hush hush thing between us. Nah, I'm messing. Uh, it, it's there for everyone else to actually learn if they want to learn. But yeah, <laughs> um, thank you, a free bra safe man. <laughs> difficult, yeah, uh, difficult. It was the day I was at work. Oh, bless you, bro. It's all good. S E send dot dot exe has uh, command commence. I don't see what he sees right now. You see the thing is, I oh, will talk about that. We'll talk about the plans and whatnot. Okay, the uh, second chart is crazy, but okay, lol. Um. Yeah, bro, I play some crazy shit, man. I play some crazy shit, man. Fifteen seconds. Uh, the guy, like, I have, I don't have. I showed you the one second before. I don't think I've done that. Uh, but yeah, man, smash the likes, everybody, man. Yeah, I, look at Goonie saying, I haven't seen anyone just call a trade and have it play out on stream as readily and easily as he does. Thank you so much for that. Thank you so much for that. Really appreciate that. Big love for that. Um, but yeah, man, smash the likes, everybody. Please, like. Well, you, you can do, you can you can smash it, you can don't smash it, I don't give a shit. It, it doesn't really matter. We'll still carry on anyway. We'll still move forward and that's what we'll do. Anyway, so let's just carry on with um, Ethereum. <clears throat> Not Ethereum, fuck that. Um, Bitcoin, you delete that, I don't need this no more. Why is Ethereum saying 1657? Yeah, makes sense, does it, does it, to everyone, what I was talking about? And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, man, trust me. we got a lot more good shows coming up as well. And it's always good to learn as well, you know what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> Ethereum, what's happening right now? Well, where are we finding support? Right off this high there, okay? Already off the bat, right? We'll talk about that after. We'll talk about that after. Let it do its thing. Let's talk about Bitcoin. Bitcoin is the first thing. we got to respect the king, okay? So. Like I was saying, right? That we're still capped between these Monday, this Monday, last week's Monday's range, okay? Nothing's too special. Nothing too, nothing's happening at the moment, right? But there's something telling me right the fact that we're great oh yeah that was it so this pa here where have we seen this this triple bottom kind of play that hasn't taken out liquidity but it will eventually take out liquidity don't know fucking know when but it will take it one day we've seen this before i'll show you when if i go on the daily right and i'm just gonna file everything off do you guys remember back last year right in may june july time liquidity was building up here this was the low, you can see, and we never took out Monday, uh, the January's low. But the yearly open, oops, the yearly open, which was, it's that one there, it's right there. The yearly open is right here. We found support off yearly open. That was a key higher time frame play. And what we've done is liquidity was resting over here, liquidity was resting here, and we just whipped into it, stopped, and if we didn't even come back into it, Instead, we find bullishness across the board there. So if I were to draw it out, right, you see these lines there? Support, small deviation send off as well. It is in a range band environment, right? When at that time, the range band environment was around from this high to about this low. So this low to this mother. There we go. That's, a, that's what the, the range band environment is as well. The question is, does it do something like this? Because it's showing me, it's showing me the ability to want to go lower. It over here, I really was focused on taking these highs here. The moment we broke this out, well, you need to play back to range high. Once we broke out of this high, well, it was it was arguably bullish straight away because what happened? Break out, retest, new all time high. So that was the PA back then, and I'm seeing the same, a very very similar thing that's happening right now, right? And just remember the key point that I want to I, I want you to remember is this. Let me use a different color. This, that low, oops, this low. Oh, fuck, my head's in the way, in it, motherfucker. There we go. Right, <clears throat> let's start again. So the one that circled in black, that's the uh, that's the range low, right? Quarterly, the first quarter range low. And then the second line above that, that was the yearly open. This is the yearly open. And we have the yearly open is held support, right? Not the, the range low, the yearly open, okay? So that's, that's the key. And we held the support once, 
and we didn't even touch it again and off we go right so we went carried on and like going higher this is a range band environment and we broke out of it okay sorry about that. and um the way he's moving right and you see, you see how fast that movement was so consecutive like just up candles right on a daily we're talking about as well i'm seeing very similar kind of price action that's going on right over here right so if i were to bring out my lines and let me just show it to you slightly different right and i'm just going to highlight them for you and you're going to show you just remember small body candles by the way as well all these right although it was going down there were very small body candles These here, the very tiny little candles is grinding back down, right? Compared to these expansive moves, you see these expansive moves, really, really big, big ass candles, right? And even over here, there were big ass motherfucking candles. Even here, it was big ass candles. But we're doing the same thing. So if you look at where we are today, where we are today, we had big candles, right? Let me just highlight this. Yeah, we had big ass candles there right big ass candles there and now we're finally getting small candles this in comparison to this they're tiny they're very very tiny in it so which means to me when i see small body candles especially on the daily it means to me an expansion is coming All right an expansion is coming my eyes man i don't know what the fuck's going on yeah um we're looking at expansions coming right so what's so imp important about expansion this is where you make a lot of gains right a lot of people right tend to like to play the expansive move the breakout move right it means that we've been playing the freaking um, um range band environment so if we need to sw switch play we switch play it's not a problem so if you were to look at this now right i'm just going to draw this out listen i'll draw out my levels right and i'm just gonna show it to you and you guys tell me what you're thinking right so this is the high and this is the low and this is the mid-range oops that's not right Close to approximation, and then we've got the daily candles right here. That's the Monday's range, the Monday's low. That's the approximation. Okay. Now you tell me something now. Okay. Um. Yeah, let me just hide this. You bullish or you bearish? Just looking at this now. You tell me. You bullish or bearish? if you guys are commenting but my thing is ah, okay so yeah we got this here we go i uh, could ask for input on a short entry at 67 uh yeah we'll get to if if in a bit and then we'll talk about that in just a moment um so Guni, yeah exactly Guni is saying it felt familiar it's because we've seen this whole price action before but it just it just like takes the eye to actually catch on to it as well and that's where experience come into place as well when you play it when you play all these things um what else to say um my gut, my gut was telling me to buy this morning and i had no idea why it, it's we've seen this pa before you you subconsciously everyone's seen this before you played it back last year around especially if you were in the in the market for last year as well you've, you've seen this as well uh could you call an inverse head and shoulder forming on nasdaq one day chart or too much angle for a neckline uh have a look at nasdaq remind me about that uh in a, in a moment after we've done btc bullish i like to see 22k lows aren't aren't as lows true bullish bullish We'll enter gig along only if we flip to about 20.7k short-term bull long-term bear okay so we're all we all can all say right now we're barely fucking bullish right we all can say we're fucking bullish right why because we've seen this fpa very similar before right that this let's get a different color fuck it yeah this is the range low that is a range low and it's holding support until we lose this range low we can't really look for expansive moves which is why i was just playing it from range band to range band had two laps uh, had two ranges overlapping uh, overlapping each other one we have the monday's range and two we have the weekly range but um i forgot again someone else was asking me about it was confusing a trade look like a bit uh, like further on beyond but i was saying maybe it will be helpful for you guys if you actually put two separate ranges and two separate charts on bitcoin and that way you don't confuse the two but my focus really at the very moment is on this range here because i do feel the way this this small body candles are coming we haven't got we're going to get an expand an expansion 
more probable on the upside. Why? Because of support. Well, that support, we can't look for shorts. You can't, we can't be targeting here, here, here yet. Until we lose this, until we do something like that, we can't be targeting this. We have to start targeting this area here. Well, first things first, Monday's range, Monday's high, then mid-range, and then we look at this area here, and then this area here. That's what we have to fucking look. That's the honest truth. So if I were to draw a plan just off the daily, this is what I'd be looking for. So if I were to long, right, if I were to long and have a swing long, my invalidation is here. That's that's a fact. My invalidation is here, playing it to mid-range, to range high. Different type of play here. It's a very different type of play. Why? Because I'm now having a wider stop loss, and I, there's no point having me a wider stop loss playing it to range high. So for Monday side, it makes no sense whatsoever. It's probably half an hour fucking trade. Will I do that? It doesn't make any sense, right? So if you were to do a swing trade right now, the fact is your stop loss will have to be here. And I've said this every, nearly every day on this freaking stream, stream itself for the last couple of the last couple of days for a week or so, is that stop loss will be there. You're targeting mid range and then this area here and then range high. That's what I'll be looking for. So if I were to do a plan, right? This is how it would look like. Play it this way. That we target one. From target one, we're looking at target two, which would now be off this low here. That'll be target two. And then we see if we can get to target three. And that's that's the trade. And that's the trade on a swing position. Right? So what happens next? Right? Does it do something like this? Breaks down. And then it's a shorting position to go back to mid-range and then back to range low. I don't fucking know. Or does it do something like this? Breaks up, falls above it, and we play a lot more higher as another confirmation to enter the trade. And we can start targeting this and then start targeting that and then into this area here, right? Potentially dig out, see if we can wipe out these highs there. But you see the grind over here. I would not be surprised if we break up, right? I wouldn't be surprised if we do this. Let me just highlight that. If we break up, fall above it, take out these highs over there, do this, and then breaks down. And you see this high over here? breaks down from resistance and this low with the confirmation to enter the trade. Now I want you to screenshot this for a second, right? And have a look at this. This PA, what I'm showing right there is very, very similar to what we've done before. Where? Well, let me show you. Same key concept, the same motherfucking key concept. This is, let's just say this is your Monday's low. Similar to Monday's low, right? Price is consolidating, right? We break up. We retest, come back into this area. That's the expansion move. This is consolidation. This is expansion. This is the break. This is the retest. And then, fuck! I didn't even say that right. This is the that's yellow. I don't want it yellow. So this is the consolidation. This is the breakout. This is the retest, and this is expansion. And what happened was, this is your. Let's say that was a weekly range, and then whatnot. That's like let's just say the weekly range is up like over here. That's the weekly range itself. It's quite similar to this, I'm showing you. And you see those those breakouts that was holding above it, right? Take out these highs, breaks out, and then plays back down as the bearishness. And this same PA can happen right down where we are currently. The same PA, exactly what I said, screenshot, go to it, go back to it. And it's the same. It looks very, very similar. So I'm again, I'm not looking for also minus 60K because macro-wise, we're still bearish in terms of the global economic situation that's going on uh you can't argue with that but we can still play up to the highest 160k that's fucking wrong right but we can still play potentially i'm just saying potentially to the areas of right here play up take out these highs come back down and break down that's a very potential move to play i don't, I don't see why not right but we play level to level any breakdown because obviously you gotta, you gotta bear in mind that you've got the range band environment going on here. Where is the range band environment? Well, we're still in week in the weekly range, right? So as long as we're, in, we're, we're still, well, two things. As long as we're still capped in Monday's range, we've got to focus on Monday's range. Once we break out of Monday's range and reclaim this uh, mid range of the weekly, then we start focusing on the weekly range. When we break out of the weekly range, and then we focus on the breakout range. Okay, that's it. Until then, keep it nice and simple. But we can start looking for for, uh, for bullishness. Because on the daily, also, we are holding support where? This level here. This black level, what is it? Previous all-time high, 19.8K. And you can see clearly, all right, if I were to just draw one single line, right? Look at it. It's support. 
is acting as support. We had a deviation over here, and all this is support. So as long as we don't lose this low, right? A swing failure is one thing, but we have to reclaim this level. As long as we don't lose the low, we're good to go. So this is higher time frame. This is key, key higher time frame support. So we played the shorts. We played the shorts on the way up and down, up and down, up and down. It's not a problem. But now you, we can still play the shorts. I'll still play the fucking shorts. I was fucking short in the market in 2020. When, when um, I was playing LTC, I was flipping it back and forth, man, on a non-stop basis. And it was a bullish market as well. But I was playing shorts. Like, people was thinking, like, this guy's fucking nuts. But if it sets up as a short on a, on a scalp or a, or a day trade, I'll fucking take the shorts. I don't give a shit. If you got a problem with that, then if I'm... How can you have a problem with my, with my shorts? And it? it's my shorts. You can take your lungs if you want to and hold your lungs. I don't really mind. I'll join in with your lungs afterwards. Like, I each to them. Yep. Yeah. So, I swear to God, right? This, I can't really see your chat, so. Everyone's saying, you see, everyone's talking right now, right? And I just can't see, oh, let's, let's, see, let's see what everyone's saying. Yeah, it makes sense, blah, blah, blah. Um, bearish short, bearish long, uh, bearish short, bullish long, have Eve short running, um, count, uh, counting on pullback, playing extremes, short term, bearish. Yes, I was currently. Uh, Ning saying, I'm, I'm, I'm bullish. <laughs> I'm bullish. Why <laughs> joker? Uh, George is saying, um, "Yo, what's going on, Georgius? It's crazy that, that you stream so often. Respect the fans. I appreciate that, man. It's all love. It's all love, man. I don't do anything special, man. I do what any any human being can do. Like I can, if I can do it, someone else can do it. It's really easy. EPDC is breaking out. Yeah, that's another thing I want to talk about about EPDC. Um, but we'll get to that in a moment. Yeah. So that's so that's the the Bitcoin in terms of the view itself. But now we need to make some sort of plan." How do we play on board looking at what the PA is happening? So we drop down to the 15 minutes and let's look for some day trades, right? So I've given you the idea of a swing trade. So you can, you guys can enter a swing trade whenever you want. You know your invalidation is wrong and you can play the trade as it is. Now, for those who say, who's like, you know what, thanks, that's a bit of risky play. I don't want to fucking have a, a wide stop and blah, blah. I, I want something that's, that's showing me, yeah, we're going that direction. That's not a problem, all right? Well, like I said to you, the key that we're having problems is, is the mid range and the monthly open. That's the two key. So all we got to do really now, right? So all we got to do now is literally just catch the play, however it comes to. So if the bullish play is like this, right? It do its thing. The moment we reclaim and hold the monthly open and show bullish market structure, happy days go. Let's go to the next set of targets. Put target one, target two. Oops. Target two would always be here. And then that's target two. And then we play to target three. And that's the, the, the day trade in terms of playing Monday's range. That's what it is. We're playing Monday's range. Okay. I've showed you the, the bullish play in terms of, of, of a swing play. So that, that's entirely up to you guys. Whoever wants to take the trade, you're more than welcome to take the trade whenever you want to take it. Okay. So that's that. Now, the second thing is, right, that's the first thing. The second thing is, is that what if, right, you want to enter in and you're like, well, is there a shorting scenario right here? Right. Well, let's have a look. Let me drop it down to a smaller time frame and see what's going on. We've got this trend line coming up over here. See this trend line there? That's a trend line that over here coming up there. Now, this, as long as it's bullish, it holds above it, retest this high. I can enter here, right? Playing it to smaller targets up to here. As long as this trend line holds, I can play up to here to the mid range. From the mid range, looking at how we get out, because actually, you know what? Let me just delete this for a second. I think I've seen, I'm seeing something right now. I'm seeing something right now. One second. Okay, so we got a range finding environment. Let me just draw this out quite differently. Give me a second. I didn't even plan for this. Let's cap in the market. Start pausing the market there. The mid range comes into about approximately, I think, in line here. Yeah, this is bullish there. Okay, so that's where the, so the play right now, you can see right now, you can enter in, break up, play up to here, target one, and then we can squeeze into this area. Similar to how uh, Ethereum played. This looks like a lot like Ethereum's play yesterday. This is looking like Ethereum. So that will be my trigger. Uh, sorry, if you want confirmation, it's this. This is your confirmation. And you're playing target one uh, to 20.25K. 20, 20 and then going up to this area here at 20.1K. Potentially getting these highs. Because you know why I'm, I'm looking at this? You see this? This is very similar to, 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 to Ethereum. Because I think we're going to get a, a, a fucking pump and a half by the looks of it. And that will be the next set of targets there. 
that's yo. If you want to play like this, and then up to here, that's what I'm looking at. Actually, that's a fucking trade and a half. I think that's very very plausible. Yeah, I think that's that looks good. That looks perfectly fine. Looks really, really good. Actually, that's a fucking trade and a half right there. Um, where would I be wrong? Is if we come back down, below the mid range, breaks down. Then it's like, okay, we're coming back, but I'll pull back to this area. See how we react. As long as we hold above it, reclaim this, then you got, then you can play it. Uh, otherwise, if we were to lose this level, then we come back down to range low, and that will be a short. Uh, as the, this is this is on the five minutes guide, by the way. So, uh, so which means if I'm if I'm looking for for plays on five minutes and on the five minutes, that means we're playing a really, really small time frame because this consolidation is going to have to break out eventually. It's going to have to break out eventually. So I think, I think, yeah, I think this is very, very, ah, here we go. We're doing it right now, actually. As you can see. See this high there? It literally was there. The plan was all there for you. So Bitcoin looks bullish in my opinion. Uh, where would I short? If I would. Where would I short? Let me delete all this. If I were to short it, yeah, for me to short, we need to lose this level, come back below the mid range, and that would be a short playing into this area, and then see if we squeeze into this. And that was a very short term base. But the moment we lose this, right? Actually, yeah, I'd, I'd have to, I wouldn't short like this. I wouldn't do this. I need to see us lose this low here. Uh, this low. there we go that's the low we need to come back down and find that as resistance and then i can say yeah that's my confirmation i can't short up here i can't short up here why because you see you see this low here that's holding support and we have loads of set of deviations so we could come back down and then do another deviation find support and then reclaim up to this area here that's very very possible there so I'm, i'll be a little bit cautious with shorts at the moment all right but the plans are there for bitcoin does that make sense everybody Oh, thank you, Robin. Appreciate that. I was looking like a fucking hobo in it, so <laughs> I was like, I gotta get, I gotta get myself sorted out. So I gotta do some videos on the thingy on the on my chat on my channel on my um YouTube um not YouTube fuck website tradedank.com is coming out soon as well. And uh, I was like, yeah, if I'm gonna look professional and look clean, I can't look like a fucking geezer who just came out of prison in it. Even people from prison don't look like that. They look a lot more slick in it. But yeah, that's Bitcoin for you. It's all clear. Cool, Justin. Awesome. That's blessed then. All right then. So uh, before we carry on into Ethereum, I know um, Hafala was asking me for an idea on the short and whatnot. We'll get to that in just a moment. So go up. Dollar is saying dollar is doing this now. Fifteen minutes. Which is why I'm not I'm not claiming the top or the because people have been calling the top for so fucking long, right? They'll be calling the top over here, 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 here. I don't fucking know. I don't give a, I don't give a shit on where the top is, right? But I can tell you one thing for certain, right? We've got a trend line right there. So if I go on 50 minutes on the hourly, right? We've got a channel going over here, right? That's the channel there. If, if we were to break down and lose this level there, target one, back to 108, see how we react. We hold above it back into this area there or if we start to lose it then i say back into this area here into the bottom of the channel and i can see that happening quite fairly uh, fairly clean um and we, we and we could actually still carry on and go in and still carry on with the, the, the channel itself i don't care about what, what happens with, with the over dollar index um I, i'm not here to time the time uh, the time the top i'm here to play the game how it is to be played once if it breaks down the upside then we can go back to mid rate well uh, yeah, that's the mid range, and then for mid range going up higher, blah blah blah. But if we lose this area, some resistance, and then lose this trend line, that's your confirmation for short. Playing it back down to this area, and then to the red area, and then see this, and all this out. This was literally a consolidation for like good years upon years. I think it's about over ten years or whatever. And um, that's just a retest. That's what it is. So we'll see what happens with dollar index. But dollar index is it, it's. It's a funky one. It's already been a funky one. Yes, quickly. Yes, he's actually reclaimed twenty five percent, so he's giving me bullishness as well. Again, similar things. Um, if I were to take a trade on the on ES, if I go on the fifteen minutes, because ES is showing me bullishness as well, I can say yeah, 
it, it's giving me signs of hope. Uh, number one, you see this low over here. Hold. All right, we didn't reclaim. Uh, we didn't lose it. The low of this consolidation has been reclaimed, right? And you can see it's been capped from bank both sides. That's where it is. Market structure is broken on the downside. Lower time frame broke up, retest, and now we get, make a new higher high. And that's another retest. And all it is, if you want more confirmation, retest of this area, and this uh, a reclaim of this area. And I've been looking to long into this area on Monday's high. That's what I'll be looking for to fill out all this inefficiency. And then from Monday's low, we'll see what happens. As as a short term, I think that's a very valid play. Looking at thinking, and if if and if that if that's bullish, right? Well, Bitcoin's gonna be bullish, right? We'll see how it plays as it is. If we were to reclaim and hold, then yeah, we'll play back into this area, the mid range of Monday's range last week that I'm talking about into this area here. Okay, that's what we're looking for. But from till then, short term basis, at least the target up to here. That's I think that's very very plausible, and the probability has increased to do that X, Y, and Z. Okay. This, what I've used here, is basically an SR. It's an SR play, as you can see. This SR from this high to this SR from this low is approximately around the mid range. Okay, so it does work out quite well there. So that's ES. Uh, Bitcoin dominance was quite interesting, actually. Bitcoin dominance has been lost. Well, I'll show you. Camera's being a bit of a little bitch. Not bad though, it did like an over an hour of uh, thingy, just over an hour of, of the stream before you decide to actually give up on us. Uh, different batteries in it, they play up whatever they'll fucking do. I don't fucking know. All right, let's have a look. All right, then. so Bitcoin dominance has now taken out lows, right? Which is interesting, which is really, really interesting now, right? So the market structure is still bearish. Why? Because we're taking out these lows. If we were to be, you know, a, what I was looking for really is something like this, and then long it back into 25%, and this is all a range bound play. Now, the question is, is this a breakout? I don't fucking know. I can't really say that for certain, innit? Reason why is because we've still got this whole global macro bullshit that's going on in life, right? But, 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 but. What's, what's happening is, right, is this. If you were to break out, find resistance off this low itself, then where would you be targeting? Well, we've got low over here, low over there. Let me show you this properly. Move my head. Move my head. Move my head. There we go. There we go. Right. And low over here. And we'll see what happens over there. And this is about 35%. And we're playing it back down to this area here. We'll obviously, take out profits by each liquidity. But we have to monitor this as we go along. Because what this could be now, right? We need to be very careful, right? Is this idea. If it reclaims, holds, then what that means is the Bitcoin dominance is now in, is, is now bullish. And if the, if the Bitcoin dominance is now bullish, the price on Bitcoin will tend to drop. But if we were to find resistance, like I said, you know, find resistance and break down even further, go to that 35% uh, marker on Bitcoin dominance, well, then that's good. It gives us more room for, for Ethereum, Bitcoin, the alts, everything else to actually, you know, have a, have a, have a pump. I you know if that's the case, if I can do his thing. I'm, I'm not going to argue with that. I'm just happy to play both sides of the market. I'm quite happy to play whatever is shown in my, uh, in my direction. So like I said to you, the Bitcoin long is there. Um, I'm, I've explained to you why I'm looking uh, uh, looking for longs. Yesterday I was was on the, uh, when I took the when I cut the trade yesterday I was just watching Bitcoin. I was looking around about it. I'm like, mm, okay, it's 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 showing me signs that that he wants to go higher now, which I've explained to you guys uh, on some, some of these signs and fractals and whatnot. So Bitcoin dominance is actually made that these take out these lows here. We'll see how it goes, and as long we find resistance and breaks down and goes a lot more lower, it's good for us anyway. ETH BTC is interesting as well. What's happened with ETH BTC? We've come to range high. We've finally taken out range high. Now the question comes down to this now. Do we do the plan that I was talking about? Break down. If it does this, this will be now my trigger for shorts playing 25% range and mid range. 
what is that range? Range itself is this from this low to this high, and it's just a range band environment. All we've had is some sort of deviation up there, another set of deviation there. Looks like we're making another fucking deviation there. We'll find out by the end of the day if we close below the range low or, or do we close above. We don't freaking know. We're just going to play it as it comes and be a bit more cautious as it comes. It's 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 really is a time to be cautious without going going too all in with all your alts and let's not get too excited. The last thing I want you guys to do is get too freaking excited thinking that yeah, we you know, we're going to make an all-time high. In actual fact, we got time. We got time before we make all-time high. There's nothing bullish in the world right now except for freaking dollar index. <laughs> That's not what it is. Um but we take it as it is and play it level to level, all right? And which is why, like I always say to you guys, when you learn how to trade and you spend some time into understanding the market uh, and having a better grasp, it's good for you because the best time to learn is in the in the bear market. Everyone's shit scared to make money. No one seems to be making anything during the bear market, and people, a lot of people, goes quiet in the bear market because it's easy. Everyone can play in the bull market. It's so easy, and uh, the fact that we're in the in the bear market, people are shitting themselves a little bit. And so every little pump, people get excited and so on. But we can't let the psychology fuck us over. Because the psychology has fucked us over back then when we was at 69k. Back then when we was at 63k. Back then at 28k, 30k, 40k, 50k. All those numbers that was going on, right? All those freaking craziness as well. There was so much psychology in terms of actually being bullish. Which is fine. I was bullish at 1.2. I'm not going to lie to you. I'll be honest with you, right? But, however, we need to play as as it comes. I need to go for a piss. Bear with me just a second. I do need to take a piss. Be you. Fuck my hands, I'll be back. Two minutes. Too much fucking water, man. Man, I started going gym as well again, properly, right? Bro, like, it's, it's, uh, feels good to be back there, man. It's like home again, you know what I'm saying? Ooh. Two minutes. And I'll be with you in just a second, right? Yeah, I really need to take a piss. I can't hold it for any longer.
What's going on, motherfuckers? Sorry about that. My friend told me about the plum last year. Fuck what? off. Plum. Suck your fucking plum in it. Anyway. Yo, let's get back going. I'm now 19.7k Mr. Eve. Yeah, I think we all missed Eve in it. Uh, well, it's one of those ones where, like, uh, what you're saying, Ning, in terms of... Um, I took the trade yesterday with... Uh, with um, I mean... Like, I could be kicking myself, like, oh, man, I could have made four, all oh, this and that. Nah, fuck that, man. I'm quite happy with it, right? So, lower high on BDC, let's have a look, right? So, in terms of uh, BDC, we need to be a bit cautious here. Number one. So, see this area here? This area here is where I'm... No, no, that's not it. It's this area here. This area here is where I'm seeing consolidation over here, right? Which came back down, retest. Came back down, back into the range high, retest, and it's all bearish all the way here, right? So, if that's the case, what I'm seeing is potentially what we can do is do this. A very potential move is this. This is the low, and then what we could do is something like that. Do is oh, fuck off. Do this, come back into here, pop into this area there, and then break back down, and then this is your confirmation back into shorts, right? The reason why I'm saying that is that's resistance. This whole consolidation was resistance for here. If we come into this area, then what happened? You're facing resistance. Would you start longing against resistance? You wouldn't. The only way for me to go in longs, right, is for me, is actually break up and hold above it. And then I'm like, that's your long. That's your confirmation because we're broken market structure, right? But the market structure at the moment, it's still bearish, right? Like, well, like if you look at it for the whole thing, if I were to delete the whole thing, the market structure right now, I mean, look, high, higher, low, sorry, uh, lower, high. Lower, low, actually, you know, market was broken on the upside there, but this is holding thing. It's, it's holding the thing. It's bearish. Why? Because we're gonna face resistance. We start breaking down. This is your confirmation. Off you go, and then we can play it back into twenty five, back into mid range, and then we see you go back into uh, to the to this area, and then range low, and all we do is fucking consolidate until then, right? So we need to start seeing how things are. Be very cautious on ter in, in terms of entering long. And if you're entering longs, so don't enter long for too long. Have your EPDC chart with you and play as it comes. Don't get too excited about taking longs. Don't get don't get suck, suckered into the whole fucking, you know, this whole bullish momentum. So don't get suckered in, you know? Like, you once fell for it once. You fell for it twice. You fell for it three times. I don't know how many times you guys have fell for it. But don't fucking start falling for it every single time because of, of little candles. Take things easy, man. Take things easy. Who gives a flying shit? If it, if it was... If it was to be bullish and, and and we're completely wrong, right? Let's just say I am completely wrong and it was mega mega bullish. Then who gives a flying fuck? I can actually enter back in once we you know once we break out this market structure and hold the motherfucking high and then we play high. The reason why I said hold the motherfucking high, well let me explain to you why. Let's go back to BTC because we all got suckered into the fucking bull play, right? Do you remember this? Do you remember this high over here? Let's just focus on this high. This is the high there. What happened? We got up, deviates it, gets up, deviates it. We don't fucking hold the motherfucking eye to show bullishness. We don't do that. There was nothing bullish there. Like, hindsight now, we could say that this high, we should have actually hold above it, go up there, and then take out this. This is your absolute confirmation to, for, 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 for longs. Stop loss. Uh, you can say this here. Yeah. Go up higher. But he never did that. So we need to make sure that high is held. But I can enter in, right? We as a community can enter in when under confirmation. I'm not here to risk my capital. I've done it before. I'm not doing it again. I'm not stupid, you know. And and certainly you guys are not stupid, right? Op ah uh, op. A lot of people talking about op a lot to me. Yeah, SE called that one. Uh, the the e flung as well. Uh, the e flung on it. I was doing the shorts on BT. Well, I played the shorts on the e, got stopped out. Played the shorts on on uh, BTC, and, and then here we go. Um, I'll probably ditch it all when I when when I can undelegate. I need some new app socks. What happened? What's I, I missed out on something? What the fuck's going on? There's obviously conversations going on over here. Um, is this Luna C? Don't get sucked into that one as well. Um, but like Luna C is actually like I, I know there's a lot of uh, charts on on uh, bullishness on Luna C. I haven't checked it out properly, but I know it's making making all time highs on the the. the LUNC chart. The lunar chart is fucked anyway, but 
I'd be very careful with, with Lunacy uh, and, and, and keep an eye on, on this whole EPDC and how Ethereum reacts and how BDC reacts, right? So we talked about Ethereum, we talked about EPDC, uh, sorry, not Ethereum, EPDC dollar index. We talked about a lot of things. Now let's talk about Ethereum. Now Ethereum is what is, where it's all at, right? Lunacy, I like that. That's a good one. Lun Lunacy equals Lunacy equals Lunacy. Uh, that's, that's, a, that's a bar in our, that's a fucking bar. As a wrap in there, you know. <coughs> Let me finish it off this cigarette. Any questions though, so far? <coughs> Do you know what? I'm gonna get a can of coke. Bear with me one second. There's just one over here. Hey, what's going on, Yuri? Good to have you here, man. So this guy. Uh, why do we look at EPDC chart? Okay, so EPDC gives us an indication of how strong Ethereum is against Bitcoin. Yeah. So to run it back down, is this right? So as the chart goes up, that means Ethereum has more power against BTC because it's Ethereum against the Bitcoin. Right? Does that make sense, sir? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? That's better, yeah. <coughs> it's Ethereum against the Bitcoin, okay? So as Ethereum goes up, if EPDC is pushing up, that means your alts are going to start to be pushing up as well. They're not pushing up very strongly, in my opinion. Across the board, like your Dot, your Matic, your um, Solana, your Kusama, well, Kusama is a, is a shit coin already. Um, your XRP, uh, uh, your Doge, they're not pushing as strongly as Ethereum is, which is the focus is Ethereum, which makes me think that we're going to have a massive dump afterwards, right? Once we have that push up as well, because if, if alts are not pushing up with it properly, they, they look, the market is not like the total two it doesn't look good, it doesn't look great, in my opinion, sorry. Um, We're still below this range below over here. So if you were to reclaim this, right, then that and take out this high over here, then that shows to me, okay, then we're gonna go back to the 840 billion marker, reclaim the 840 billion marker, go into about 950 billion market cap and see if we can go for the for the one trillion market cap. But once we've lost that one trillion, that was it. We never saw the one trillion again. Right? So it, there's a lot of a, there's a lot of thingy of a lot of the focus really is on Ethereum. Everyone's eyes on Ethereum. The trade really is on Ethereum, uh, mainly because of the whole merge thing. Post post merge dump coming. Uh, I agree. I totally agree as well. I think that's what's going to happen. And uh, we also got to pay attention to what FOMC is saying as well. If they start dropping rates, and they they've already said they're not dropping the rates as well. Not, the uh, um, rates uh, hikes are still going to go 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 as planned throughout the rest of the year. They did say that clearly uh, when they had the uh, meeting uh, in the last last week or the week before. So, so literally, the focus should be on Ethereum and Bitcoin. It shouldn't be on anything else, right? But yeah, you can start looking at some of, some of the alts and play a little bit of alts here and there. But really, I don't see anything else because the way Ethereum has been pushing up on the mad one, I'm surprised alts hasn't pushed strongly with it, you know? So that's why I haven't really focused so much on, on alts uh, too much. Uh, but there's been some plays over there, day trades and whatnot. But Crypto Cruise is saying, um, I'm happy that I'm only playing BTC and Ethereum, not looking at alts. Yeah, yeah, same. I, I am looking at alts here and there, but not too focused about it so much. What's going on, Ildred? Good to have you here as well. Um, hi, Void. If the price goes above monthly opening, that's a bullish sign, right? I just joined. Sorry. Nah, don't worry about it. You don't have to apologize for anything. Yeah, that's right. So if so, like if you look at Ethereum, Ethereum is above the monthly open. Right? Clearly see, it's on the 15 minutes, you can see it. 
and that's bullish, right? Above the monthly open is bullish, below the uh, monthly open is bearish, okay? And Bitcoin hasn't followed it yet. Bitcoin is still facing some sort of uh, some sort of issues there. So we've got once we, the, the confirmation for your longs on Bitcoin is above the monthly open, off we go, take out this high there, hold above it, then next set of targets, on and on and on, okay? Cool. Um, okay, so bro, inverse head and shoulders. Oh yeah, NASDAQ, let's have a look. You asked me that, so I am going to actually answer that. NASDAQ is ES100. No, not ES. Uh, US100. Let's have a look. Mm. See, the NASDAQ, right, <coughs> it's, it's showing me this. It's gone the one day, right? That's the range low. What I've got here, right, is literally the ranges of 2021's range. So 2021's low, 2021's high, and it's a range bound environment over here, okay? And we had a deviation step up, come back in there, take out these highs, take out these, uh, sorry, take out these lows, take out these highs there, and we're below the, uh, the range, range low, right? So if I were to actually reclaim this level, right, then we can start playing these areas here, fill out this void over here, uh, fill out this void over there, and then we can see what happens in this area here. Do we break down, come back down to this area, or do we reclaim, oops, or do we reclaim the 25%, and then we can start shoot, going down this area there, this area here, and this here, okay? Uh, but you're saying there's a, an inverse head and shoulders, let's have a look, what are you talking about? On what time frame are you looking at, um, Curtis? Are you talking about this? Talking about that? Do you dream of range day? Yeah, man, ranges, man. When I look at when I look at like a woman's ass, I look at like, I look at what the range is saying in it. Is there a deviation or is there a freaking flat body candle in it? <laughs> so I look at. <laughs> I'm messing. I'm messing. Let's not disrespect women like that. Stop, like that. That's haram, bro. <laughs> That's fucked up. I was fucked up. I'm so sorry there. That was a really fucked up joke. <laughs> a woman's ass is a deviation of a flat body candle. <gasps> Fucking hell, that's a tweet day, isn't it? <laughs> Fucking hell. I don't think what I say. I just say it. <laughs> I just say it. That's one thing you learn quite quickly about me. Is that Jake just speaks his mind. Right? <laughs> oh shit. Flat body candle. <laughs> Oh man, that's why they go to the gym to get that exp the expansion move, isn't it? That's what it is. Yeah, SC would love it. <laughs> he would love it. <laughs> oh fucking hell, SC, what are you geezer, man? I got so much love for that guy. Uh, but yeah, let's get back to Curtis. Curtis was saying, um, um, is this what you're looking for? Um, the inverse head and shoulders. Is that what you're looking for? So, are you, is this what you're saying? <laughs> this is the left head, the sorry, the left shoulder, the head. And then we're looking for the right shoulders. And then, is that what you're looking for? Something like that? Fucking hell, dude. Focus. Yeah, yeah, let's focus circuit. Yeah, he's right. Artemis is cracking up. <laughs> Deviation. Jesus Christ, man. I'm fucked up. Mm. <laughs> What are you? Are you guys are like an ass man or you guys are like a tit man? What, what, what do you guys prefer? What's going on, Circuit? I'm doing well, man. On the one day yet, the last two lower lows. Uh, the last two lower lows, then forming a high high. Let's have a look. Okay. Yeah, Curtis is here. <laughs> Wait for Curtis. Uh, the last two lower lows and then the high high. So he's talking about this lower low, this lower low over here, and then the high high over here, right? So. Can you. Yo, Curtis, can you do me a favor, right? If you can, go on Trading View, right? Literally get a chart uh, on Trading View and just show me what you're seeing and then send the link on this on this, on this this chat and I'll have a look at it for you. Because I can't really see this uh, this um, un inverse head and shoulder thing. I really can't see it. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of struggling a little bit. Nice juicy ass all day, yeah? Okay. <laughs> no kiss and tell. Tag a chart. Yeah, tag a chart in, in, in a tweet. Uh, oh, Dubsdorf is a tits man. Ah, Yuri likes a bit over and under. Fucking hell, Yuri. Yuri likes the thingy. The over under play. <laughs> uh, you look for uh, CRV. Just give me a moment there. I'm just waiting for Curtis to see if he can send me a chart and I can help him out on this. 
But yeah, one second. Let me focus, guys. I'm fucking losing the plot. Uh, inverse head and shoulders. The only problem is that I can't really find it in inverse head and shoulders because of because for me I see very things very horizontally. Like this is a horizontal play from that low. Uh, if we come back into here, find resistance, play back down. Uh, I mean, once we we need to reclaim this area for me to look for longs. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, this covers a whole other thingy. Final, uh, so you're a P dollar man. All right, so you're a P dollar man. Uh, but that been uh, be, before you see the P dollar man, you gotta see the something else in it. You gotta see that is it uh, an over under in it? Uh, which one are you looking at? <laughs> Derry wants all the cakes. <laughs> Good okay. Uh, I take a half a lot. See you soon, man. Me, I'm an ass man. Yeah. It's Curtis here. You know what? I'm, 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 wait, wait. I'm gonna wait for Curtis as well. I'm gonna carry on, and then once Curtis actually sends me the freaking um the, the link of what of the chart he's looking at, because I can't really see this this um uh, um this freaking uh, what you call it this um uh, inverse head and shoulders. I'm, I'm I'm struggling a little bit, so um. If someone else can see it, please do actually put it on, 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 on the chat and I'll have a look at it as well. But yeah, I am an ass guy. <laughs> but yeah, all right, so let's get back to work, dude. Uh, uh, DSLs. Right. <laughs> Guys, we are really going off topic here. This show deviates a lot, but it's all, yeah, it does deviate too many times, isn't it? Let's just, let's try and focus, guys. Come on, come on, let's go. Let's get, let's get this out of the way. <laughs> let's get this out of the way. And we can move on, all right? All right, cool. Ah, uh, fuck it up. Ah, see, this, this is okay. Another thing I was looking at, right? This is bullishness, right? This is the total two against bit, uh, Bitcoin, uh, the, the, the move of Bitcoin. I'll explain that another day, right? But because I'm, I'm running out of time a little bit, so I do have a few things to sort out. This is a very potential play, and it will show me massive expensive, expensive move, and I think. If we, if we do have a play like that, right, like this, for example, then what will happen is alts will move heavy, like really, really well, like on the upside, I mean. But we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. This all comes down to what Bitcoin and Ethereum is doing. So anyway, so Ethereum. We need to focus on Ethereum. Um, so Ethereum is coming down to a major resistance. Where is this major resistance? The second quarter of 2021's range low, right? This area here is major resistance. Why? Well, if you look over here, right, as a charting perspective, right, let me hide off everything. This low, right, has been resisted. This is an SR, right? We can all agree it's an SR support, 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 support. We lost it, resistance, deviation, and if we come back into it, is it, a bear, is it going to be a resistance again? Okay? So that's the first thing, right? Is this a resistance breakdown below here? That will be confirmation for me to go a lot more lower. I mean, into this area of price action over here. Okay, so that's what I'm looking for, for for Ethereum. It is showing me bullishness as well, which is quite good though, I ain't gonna lie to you. But, I mean, a lot of people was looking at this as a, a left shoulder, head, right shoulder kind of thing, but I don't really care about that. To me, all this, see, even this left shoulder, head, right shoulder here, it's still a range band environment. Head and shoulders is a range band environment. That's what it truly is. There's nothing else to it but just a range, okay? But anyway, so looking at, um, looking for a potential trade. Let's have a look. All right, so we need to focus. Let's bring up my levels and see what the fuck we got. So we're above the monthly open. We're above uh, Monday's, last week's Monday's open. It is bullish. It is looking good. Um, we've come down to key areas now. So this is where it gets interesting now. Okay. Um, someone said 1669 or whatever, that kind of area. So I think it was half a lot or something like that. But anyway, so this is what we're looking at here. Shorts. Let's look at shorts. You see this area here? All this. Right there, yeah. Let's let's just highlight that. Is it not? Yeah, that's it. This area here is all resistance, right? It's a consolidation right here. Price consolidated here, come down, consolidation, come back, retest this seventeen hundred level and sells off. What's so key about this now? Now this level here, right, on the lower time frame, it is resistant, right? So oh if I were to look for a short, right, for me to enter a short, right, let me do its thing. You can bump into 17k back into this base of consolidation over here. Breakdown once it breaks down below here. This is my confirmation for shorts. 
and I'll be playing it back into this area here, back into this higher, and potentially back into this area here. Right? See how it reacts coming to this as target two. If it comes into this area here, target one, and holds above it, I cut the trade because it shows you bullishness to go back into this. Right? And you can call this like a, a cup and a handle. That's what a cup and handle is. Does that make sense? Fucking camera, man, you motherfucker. 1669, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, targeting 1700. I think 1700 is on the table. So that battery dies quickly, dead. It dies in half an hour. Okay, so this one, let's pop that battery down. One second, guys. Yeah, so we're saying uh, potential cup and handle. My eyes are kind of fucking me up as well. So if it comes back and finds support up here, it shows bullishness, right? And it's like a cup of handle. And then cup of handle, as we all know, right? Like on the mean kind of side, it, we show expansion moves, right? So that's what I'll be looking for in terms of short play. Now, I wouldn't take a long just yet because I've kind of missed a lot of the longs to, in, in all honesty, right? Because I did take a trade and, it ended, and I cut the trade over here and obviously popped up. I don't really give a damn now, all right? So that's that's the short shorting play that I can see that's available there. But what happens if we start breaking up on the upside, right? And it shows us there's more bullishness. Well, then we need to go back into this area here, okay? We need to go back and zoom out and see what's going on. You see all this move over here, right there? This is all the fin moves, the inefficiencies that's happened, all the fin moves, right? And if we were to start drawing out some SRs and shit like that, let's from this high there, play into this area there, and potentially go into this area here and we can do this basic move over here all right so then we've got some set of targets that we potentially can play right all i've done is pick that sr support support lost it deviation come back down resistance off it goes right and this the support support comes down deviation goes back up deviates from the, from the range loses it off it goes okay so we know there's going to be potential targets there so i've got those those targets in mind now <coughs> i'm looking for confirmation we discussed just like minutes ago that uh, this area here was all going to be resistance. Agree? Now, let it do its thing. And I said this is a potential short, right? We're looking. So this was going to be uh, bullish. We can call it as a pullback scenario. Once it steps into this and reclaims this level there, I can say I enter here and I'd be targeting one. See how we go there. Target two. See how we go there. And then go to target three. And that's all I'm looking for. To potentially play around like just under the 2k marker i don't really give a shit about anything else and this could be the merge price action that will happen right and the merge when is the merge happening is it the 15th of september some shit like that something like that uh the inverse head and shoulder our brother our brother was talking about is setting up on the eth h4 i'll have a look at that in just a second so that would be the long scenario to playing up for higher prices and that's it I mean, we can squeeze into a range high if you want to actually hold a little bit left over, but I would want you guys to start taking profits, right? You do need to take 30. Is it 30 of September? They're fucking moving it every fucking day. I swear to God, it was like the first was supposed to be the 19th, and I heard 15th, now 13th. Before the, before we know it, it's going to be like, oh, it was yesterday. Like, but no one fucking told us. <laughs> 15 Mer, 16 BTC, man, Gox. Okay. What's happening with Mangrox? Is it the release of the... Oh, the release of the fucking Bitcoin, is it? Motherfucker. But yeah, that's the play that I'm looking for, Ethereum. That's pretty much as simply as easy as it, as it gets. I, uh, I never really got all them Adam and Eve and uh, H and... Uh, I don't really use it, to be honest. Adam and Eve and um, the head and shoulders. I, that's why when people say to me inverse head and shoulders, I don't see it very well because to me, I see very things very horizontally. It's all price action because price moves sideways right like if you were to look at for example um when they talk about inverse head, head and shoulders right this is what an inverse head and shoulders is right let me draw this out got left shoulder right shoulder there's a head right shoulder and then he just loses and he does that and he loses it that's what an inverse uh, i think a, a head and shoulder is but re in reality what in reality what i'm seeing is this a fucking range 
that was just a deviation. And all we did was play low to high, high to low, low to high, had a deviation, back down from high to low, low to high, high to low, breakout, retest, off you go. That's what it was. That's what it really is. The head and shoulders is a meme, right? And an invert and this Adam and Eve, right? And Adam and Eve is this, right? So price, uh, so the Adam is a spike down, right? And then the Eve goes around like this, and then he does this, then he breaks out, right? That's what Adam and Eve. But in reality, is this range high, range motherfucking low. That's what it is. That's what it is. It's a it's a meme. It's just a meme, because we could have done this right, back down, do this, and then just and and obviously we got all this prize action or whatever. That's what it, that's what it is. It really is that. So you know you got all these all these like silliness that people talk about. Oh yeah, we got like a um a wedge or rising wedge and whatever blah blah but it, it's just a freaking meme you know it's all a meme i like you i do use the the trend line i do use that it gives me some sort of confirmation like for example if i'm looking to play it up i'm looking for for a breakdown breakdown would be like this this will be my confirmation or i can take an entry right here confirmation will be here does that make sense so people just use different words for, for things that in reality i've been talking about for time and time and time that everything works in a fucking range in reality, it's all a range, which goes back to what I was saying from the very beginning. Okay. So yeah, that's that's really it. That's that's Bitcoin, that's Ethereum, that's you know uh, ES. We talked about um, dollar index and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I am gonna have to bounce actually. I do I do gotta go because I gotta take my mom shopping. All right, I promise I'll take her shopping anyway. Uh, she phoned me last night, and um, she's like she's like she's like can you do me a favor? I'm like what's up? She's like ah oh, I need. X, Y, and Z, this and that. Like she needs to buy rice and whatever. And obviously, she's like in like, like she's like what in her late fifties kind of thing. I'm not gonna make a carry of twenty kilogram rice. I'm like, yo, listen, don't worry about it. Tell me what time you're free. She's like, well, you got work X, Y, and Z. I'm like, listen, I'll be done by twelve. So it is close to twelve. Yeah, it's close to twelve. So I'm gonna bounce, take my mom out, and I'm gonna come back. The CRV, uh, I won't have time only because I promised my mom to go shopping. But oh, fuck, that's quickly date. Give me a second, give me a second. Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Um, don't mind, could you just minute? I'm going to show you the point. 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 Appreciate that, Cruz. Appreciate that, man. Uh, Dina, which ass do you uh, d which ass do you love, boy or girl? Bro, of course, a girl's ass, man. I ain't looking at girl, uh, boy's ass. I don't flow like that. I mean, if that's how you flow, that's all good with me in it. That's not my business. But uh, of course, a fucking girl's ass. <coughs> I mean, what about you, bro? I oh, appreciate that. It's gonna cost me quite a bit. <laughs> I can see that happening. Obviously, the the one thing I always do is like, I have I have this thing with my mom. She loves she loves like um drinking tea in it but she's tried like frappuccinos once right and she's like really happy about frappuccinos in it but she wouldn't she won't buy it she, i don't know why she just doesn't want to buy it so every time i go pick up before i pick up I head down to starbucks the drive through pick up a frappuccino for her and she gets mad happy she gets mad mad happy it's good to see her smile like that man she deserves it she's the queen man she will always be the queen right so talking about um crv right CRV focusing on these price action right here. What we got? We got a range value environment. Where is the range? We got a range high right here, and we got a range low right there. Okay, um, and then the mid range sits about, I believe, it's around here. It's bullish. It's already bullish. Market switch is broken on this side over here, um, right there. Falling support. And as you can see, uh, time in terms of the price action, this low here has actually held a support. All we've done really in reality is had some sort of deviation. So. I wouldn't mind us coming back down, falling this level here. And the mid-range was about a dollar, I'd say approximately, but yeah, one dollar ten. Yeah, one dollar ten is what I've been looking for. All above that, play back into this area, target one, and then we go that, take out these highs, and then into this here. Right? That's what we're looking for. If, right, in terms of the bullishness, if we were to break down and fall below, then I say take out this liquidity over here. And then into into this area here, which is about $1.11, $1.01, we'll call it that, 
and then take out liquidity or range low and it's just a range bound environment all right so that's the both side of the play you can play now if you want to play the break on the upside if if ethereum is going to be bullish i do think uh it, it will go a lot more higher um crv is going to go higher but if crv is going to break out what can we see right let's have a look so we got this i need to redo this whole chart again but anyway just focusing on this quickly we can see price action wise let's do that again range high range low doesn't really matter if we were to break out of it where will be my targets will be all right so first things first come back up come into this area re hold this this could be your yeah confirmation will be here right play up to higher prices uh i'd say target one if we break this down that'd be target one or oh, that's where the confirmation will be anyway approximately reclaim that area but we gotta fill out this this inefficiency over here and then looking to go into right here that that'll be second target right here which is about one dollar 35 from one dollar 35 hold above it we can see we can squeeze into this area there and then take out these liquidity there and there's a double top there that's what i'll be looking for but play it down level to level right because that is a range in itself if i want to show it to you this is a range in itself and all we're doing is stepping back into it um yeah that is a range actually yeah, that's it. So that's the high. Really, really and truly, that's, this is the range that, that I was playing. Right? This is the high, and this is the low. And as you can see, which comes back to what I was saying. Remember that pullback I was telling you? The pullback and hold above it, and then we can start playing it. Well, then you take out these highs over there, and then it will be taking out this high there, going to this area here, and that's the, that's approximately the mid-range, you know? I believe that's all. Yeah, that's approximately the mid-range. Yeah, that's fucking sweet, actually. Take a target one, target two, and off we go break above and hold above it then we can start playing the net set, set of targets in these areas these these double high and squeeze into one dollar fifty five that's crv for you i will break it down a bit more in, into in, in in a bit more of an intricate um uh, view but i do got a bouncer hopefully that helps right? um but i am gonna bounce sorry about that guys um yeah the ladies have spoken oh shit everyone's telling me to go look mama <laughs> bless you are loving regards to you too uh regards to from the country club family she will have 100 more children fucking 100 more children damn <laughs> no more damn. yeah but yeah uh thank you so much man it's, it's my mom and dad it's my mom and dad it's always my mom and dad I, I mean i am who i am today because of them uh respect honor and dignity because of these guys and uh yeah love to these guys right i'm gonna go i'm gonna bounce i'll see you guys soon take care of yourself um hopefully this has been really you know helpful for you smash the likes as well show me some love subscribe if you haven't subscribed and i'll catch you guys tomorrow all right we're gonna see the queen and get blasted as usual take care guys love